All right, Robert's here. And uh, this is the third video of a multi-video series for Regex in Python. Um, in the first video, I talked about what actually is Regex and why you should care to use it. In the second video, I showed you how you can come up with your own Regex pattern. Uh, this one here. This is what we came up with. And I showed you how to actually capture these groups and how to write these patterns. And you should know how you can come up with your own patterns from that video. So that's that. Um, and also you can find the text version where you can copy code blocks uh, from my work. And you can easily use those code blocks uh, in your Python project. You can find the link to the blog post in the description also. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your regex pattern in Python code, how you can actually extract values from these groups, capturing groups, how to move this pattern to Python code and how to use it to extract these values. You can apply the same approach in um, any situation, any Python code. So I'm going to show you how to do that so you can use it on your own for your own needs. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to compile a regex pattern in Python, how to search for a pattern like a regex pattern in some sort of text in Python, how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to capture these regex groups. So this is the video about all that. Okay, so if we come back to the code, I moved the regex pattern here, I called the variable for it regex. And this is the text from uh, previous videos. So how we would work with this. So the first thing that I would do is I would compile this regex pattern and I would do something like this file. This is a function for regex and I'm going to just print it so we can see what happens here. Okay. I'm going to run the code. You see, we have something compile. And if you actually take a look at the documentation in Python, you can see that it says this function, this method, it compiles regular regular expression pattern into regular expression object. This is something that you need to do uh, in order to use match and search is what I understand. Yeah, so this is what we are doing here. The next step that we want to do is we want to search for for this pattern in a text. So how we would do that? I would do it like this, g search. So I'm using the compiled regular expression and I'm searching through text with it. I'm gonna print now the match, it should give us something. A match object. This is what we get. That's why the variable is called match. And uh, the documentation says we are scanning through string looking for something. And basically, you get the match object. Okay, that's nice. But I still don't have uh, the groups. And how to access those groups is the next step. So, match. And if I remember correctly, basically you should be able to access all the groups if you use parentheses just like that. So I'm going to print it now. Yeah, you can see I have the first value. So the first group from here and the second value from here. That's the second group. But if you want to access each group specifically, we just use indexes two and then one, two, so group, group. Yeah, the method is then called group. 
and then you would just print out say let's add some space here and you would just print out group one and group two so that's how i would do it nice all the groups let's add some more spaces so it's cleaner so all the groups specific groups nice that's how you can extract uh, values with a regex pattern in python as you can see this is a very very simple version of using regex in uh, python but this is the minimal amount of knowledge that you need to know in order to use regex uh, patterns in python successfully this is what I use. This is the simplest form of using regular expressions in Python. I've used this approach many, many times. Obviously, if you work on a larger project or larger script, it all becomes a bit more complicated and you have to build functions, maybe even classes. It depends on the situation, but I'm not gonna explain that in this video. I'm gonna link, uh, more to my own blog posts from other situations uh, where I used similar approach for getting these regular uh, like extracting values from text but in difficult situations so you can see more examples of how to do that I'm gonna link multiple blog posts down below in this uh, description of this video but yeah we are gonna move on to a one specific complicated example, which was actually sent in by one of the blog readers. Um, one of the guys was reading one of my blog posts and he, had, he asked me for help. And I just went over his uh, problem and I described how to solve it. I'm gonna explain to you that in the next video, which is linked in the description. So if you wanna continue, look for the next uh, video in the description and yeah if you want me to help personally to help you become a python developer you can find my contact details also below uh, send me an email send me a message um, somewhere tell me about your situation and i will see if i can help you out